All hail Queen of the Monsters! Mothra is back and we can't contain our excitement. While the 2019 movie King of the Monsters killed off Godzilla's bestie in a sacrificial move, Mothra had other plans. The second trailer of the much-awaited Godzilla x Kong The New Empire teased Mothra's comeback in a blink-and-miss-it scene, prompting a barrage of probable theories behind the ancient kaiju's re-emergence in MonsterVerse after a hiatus of five long years. Since we told you about the possibility in our previous video, let's explore a bunch of ideas about how Mothra's rebirth will fit into a new Godzilla x Kong movie and its implications in the overarching MonsterVerse storyline. But before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us it means a lot. So thank you! Let's begin! How previous MonsterVerse movies paved the way for Mothra's return. Let's first understand how the previous MonsterVerse films paved the way for this mystical kaiju's return. Mothra was first introduced to the MonsterVerse in 2017's Kong Skull Island, when at the end of the film, cave paintings of Mothra, Godzilla, Ghidorah, and Rodan flashed on a monitor screen. In the mural, Mothra was surrounded by her human worshippers, thus setting the premise for her full-fledged appearance in the 2019 MonsterVerse film. In MonsterVerse, Mothra is explained to be from a lineage of protective Lepidopteran titans, an ancient guardian kaiju concerned with maintaining nature's balance. Mothra was worshipped as a goddess in the ancient past and features in myth and folklore from around the world. A temple dedicated to Mothra also suggests that she could coexist with humans peacefully. Meanwhile, 2021's Godzilla vs. Kong also revealed that Mothra participated in the ancient Titan War, when a cave painting in Kong's temple in Hollow Earth featured depictions of Mothra, Godzilla, and Kong against a giant skull crawler engaged in battle. The painting appeared to depict Mothra fighting alongside her longtime ally, Godzilla, which further highlighted Mothra's importance in Kong and Godzilla's overlapping universe. The 2021 movie also dropped quite literally a not-so-subtle easter egg about Mothra in the end credit scene. A news article headlined, Monarch Finds Massive Egg, appeared on the screen, the contents of which said, An expedition deep into Mothra's territory revealed more than researchers bargained for. The egg has been transported to a Monarch research facility. Following the events of the 2021 movie, the giant egg with a bluish hue and coarse shell was being analyzed by the folks at Monarch to identify its origin. Since Mothra's inception in 1961, this benevolent kaiju has been portrayed as immortal, with her ability to be reborn from an egg. This concept of immortality was continued in MonsterVerse, in the sense that Mothra's life cycle would go on as long as she managed to lay an egg before her body was destroyed. The process of Mothra asexually delivering an egg would carry on her lineage forever, with each Mothra incarnation inheriting the memories of her ancestor. I like the idea that her memories are passed on genetically, director Michael Doherty revealed in a tweet once, and also explained later that Mothra represents the eternal cycle of birth, life, death, and rebirth, and she knows it. Evidently, Mothra did manage to leave an egg during the course of King of the Monsters, before she was incinerated by the three-headed Ghidorah. But when did Mothra find time for that amid her busy schedule, evading Godzilla against Ghidorah? Here's when. After helping Monarch in locating Godzilla's underwater lair around Castle Bravo, Mothra flew off to the Yunnan Rainforest, where the Temple of the Moth was located. She then delivered an egg in her territory, before returning to the battle scene in Boston, as was confirmed by Michael Doherty himself. Thus, the introduction of Mothra's egg in MonsterVerse made it possible for the Queen to make a comeback at any point in the Titan film series. While all of these factors had already set up a solid enough foundation for Mothra's return. It was still a pleasant surprise to spot the kaiju in a blink-and-miss-it scene in Godzilla x Kong's trailer. Just a reflection of the adult Mothra appeared in the visions of Gia, the Iwi girl, who experienced an eerie premonition about the emergence of the formidable villains, Scar King and Shimo, and how that would lead to an explosive clash of the monsters. Interestingly, the trailer also incorporated a scene in which monarch scientist Dr. Eileen Andrews and her buddy can be seen touching a coarse surface, resembling the appearance of Mothra's egg from the aforementioned news article. Mothra in Godzilla and Kong's Epic Saga Mothra's comeback hints at some goosebump generating implications, and the timing kind of seems perfect. The most important thing to look forward is Mothra's role in the upcoming Titan War that Gia had visions about. Given that Mothra participated in the ancient War of the Titans, her emergence could mean that she sensed another world ending battle of the Titans was on the cards, like the one her ancestors fought eons ago. That epic war, which is referenced in the Hollow Earth cave paintings, kicked off the ancient rivalry between Godzilla and Kong's ancestors, thus making Mothra an undeniable part of Godzilla and Kong's shared history. 
Owing to that, Mothra naturally becomes a part of Godzilla x Kong, as the film promises to delve into the histories and origins of the Titans. And bringing back Mothra might just mean that the MonsterVerse aims to shed more light on the often mentioned, but little known about, ancient Titan War. In fact, Mothra's appearance in the trailer, amidst the gamut of other cataclysmic visions seen by Gia, confirms that she would very much be a part of the modern day war. Mothra appears just before a shot that features Godzilla engaged in battle with Shimo, and Kong facing off against Scar King in the backdrop of a city. This also brings to mind Mothra's symbiotic relationship with Godzilla, which would enable her to charge up the King of the Monsters in case he fell fighting his enemies. For those who need a refresher, owing to Mothra and Godzilla's mystical rapport, she was able to communicate with Godzilla when he was lying at the bottom of the sea in King of Monsters. Subsequently, Mothra died in a tragic scene and transferred her life energy to Godzilla, converting him into a burning form, which was powerful enough to melt Ghidorah away. Following Mothra's sacrifice, Godzilla's atomic blast took the shape of Mothra's silhouette, while also sounding like her cry. Mothra's sacrifice permanently changed Godzilla, as revealed in the graphic novel Godzilla Dominion, giving him new insights into Earth's ecosystem and enabling him to understand the functioning of the planet better. While Mothra may not sacrifice herself again, it would be interesting to see how she helps the dysfunctional allies Godzilla and Kong in battle. Unlike the traditional reputation of Mothra being the peace-loving kaiju, the MonsterVerse version did not shy away from assigning Mothra a couple of savage offensive moves. She pierced Rodan with her secret stinger and launched silk attacks at Ghidorah's three heads. We're hoping that Godzilla x Kong might just reveal more secret attacks that Mothra has in her arsenal. If we're to theorize, another interesting implication of Mothra's rebirth could be that the kaiju becomes the mediator between Godzilla and Kong. In her cinematic history, Mothra is known to have convinced other kaiju to act in favor of the planet. She once persuaded her dark counterpart Batra to team up with her, and on another occasion she interrupted a warring Godzilla and Rodan to pep talk them into saving humanity from Ghidorah. Mothra, who's known to have telepathically communicated with the Shobijin sisters, may come to realize Gia's special bond with Kong, that Gia is the only person who can communicate with the ape titan. Mothra could then reach out to Gia in her visions to convey her messages to Kong, to facilitate an alliance with Godzilla. Rising Threats Mothra's Role Against Scar King and the Great Apes Another inference from Mothra's return hints at the ominous nature of the new villains in Godzilla x Kong, namely the menacing simian titan Scar King and the icy kaiju Shimo, a tag team that even the King of the Monsters and Kong are afraid of. As Dr. Eileen Andrews says, Mothra is known to resort to violence only when Earth's natural order is threatened, thus meaning Godzilla and Kong's new adversaries would pose a catastrophic threat to the planet, prompting Mothra to wake up and show up to save the day. In fact, there wouldn't be a better time to bring back the Moth Kaiju in MonsterVerse. We already know that Scar King is going to beat Kong to a pulp, and the reptilian superspecies Shimo is all set to give Godzilla a run for his money. Owing to these bloodthirsty opponents, no wonder Kong got a Transformers-like arm gear, and Godzilla got upgraded to a neon pink form. Thus, it's safe to say that the two frenemies could do with some additional help, Mothra. As from the looks of it, help will desperately be needed. Since ancient times, the Titans were the guardians of nature, and the great apes became protectors of humanity, and Mothra was the kaiju that maintained nature's balance, and thus, her rebirth seems pertinent in a violent saturated kaiju era that has Earth's fate at stake. As we've said, Mothra's appearance reiterates how mighty the new MonsterVerse baddies are. For example, Scar King is touted to be the shrewdest of all MonsterVerse villains. He's enslaved an army of what appears to be Kong species, called the Great Apes, who evidently operate out of fear, as some of them shudder at the sight of their ruthless leader. Scar King wears the vertebral column of a creature, probably one of his past victims, across his right shoulder, and uses it as a whip to attack his victims. Scar King's decision to display his conquests also reveals that this new villain comes with greater intelligence than our returning titans, something which may have contributed to his status as a leader in the first place. As per whispers, Scar King intends to exploit an energy source deep within Hollow Earth and use that energy to wage war against all their monsters, to claim the title of the Alpha Titan by ousting Godzilla. As per legend, Scar King is said to have existed through centuries and witnessed the carnage of the epic battle between Godzilla's ancestors and Kong's kind. With Godzilla seemingly winning the fight, Kong was forced to relocate out of Hollow Earth and settle on Skull Island. Some theorize that Scar King may have started the ancient Titan War, and with his resurgence and declaration of war in Godzilla x Kong, history is about to repeat itself, thus necessitating the arrival of Mothra, who can potentially turn the tide for the Titans on Team Godzilla. One particular
particular development visibly shocks Kong, when the deadly blue eyes of Shimo appear from behind a stream of lava. The realization dawns upon Kong that he cannot stop this monster on his own, because Shimo is the legendary ice monster with unstoppable world-ending powers, who's believed to be the first titan to have ever existed, the progenitor of all kaiju. It's said that Scar King will summon and control the Frost Titan, whose icy blasts were responsible for freezing the entire planet in the past and causing the first ice age. While Shimo is believed to have a non-attacking stance otherwise, the beast will be manipulated to wreak havoc by Scar King. Using the energy from the crystals within Hollow Earth, in the trailer, Kong was seen struggling to shield himself from Shimo's icy attacks, with his Hollow Earth axe getting corroded in the process. With all that going on, the exciting hype around Godzilla and Kong's lethal opponents can only be done justice by an epic battle of the Titan forces, which pits Mothra, Godzilla, and Kong against Scar King arriving on Shimo. Yeah, that might just happen. We would like to conclude the video with a reminder that the last incarnation of Mothra was headstrong enough to ignore Ghidorah's alpha call and defiantly unfurl her wings at the alien monster, getting incinerated in the process. If Mothra could challenge a three-headed dragon and facilitate Godzilla in defeating it, facing off against Scar King and his pet Shimo should not affect her unwavering spirit, no matter the end result. She's the MonsterVerse queen after all. Do you think Mothra will also get a design upgrade in the upcoming Godzilla x Kong film, just like the titular Titans? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you liked our video, give us a shout out and watch this space for more marvelous content.